Well, welcome everyone. I'm Quinn Walcott. I'm with the Summit Historical Society, and I'm so happy to be able to have this interview with Craig Simpson, who is the director of the Dillon Marina. So thank you, Craig, for joining us today. You're welcome, Quinn. It's uh, yeah, nice to be here. Thanks for having me. Now, let's just get started with the history of the Dillon Marina. Yeah, you know, um, so the Dillon Marina, uh, we, I don't, we don't actually know its exact start date. It's a, a fact that I've tried to find a few times, but um, once the reservoir was uh, uh, full after being constructed, um, not soon after that. So I think we're late sixties is, is kind of what we narrow it down to. Uh, it started as what's called the Dillon Yacht Basin. Um, back then it was uh, literally just kind of carved out of dirt here on the side of the uh, on the side of Lake Dillon or Dillon Reservoir. Um, and I think that, you know, it's just the perfect marriage of a uh, uh, couple sailors saw some water they wanted to sail on. And so they put a boat in and started going for it. And that's, that's the beginnings. Um, there's a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of, a lot of people I know have worked here throughout the years. Um, some when they were kids uh, and they still work for the town of Dillon. So it's been around a long time. It's been a, uh, just a, a big piece of our history here and a, um, obviously a big piece of our economy and a, a, um, a large part of our community. Well, of course, with the water, it seems very inviting almost. <laughs> and yeah. I'm sure it invited you too. How did you get involved with the marina? So I, um, I actually, so I've lived in Summit County now for 30 years. I'm uh, a Colorado native, um, and I'm a lifelong sailor. So I've been sailing Intermountain Lakes and, and uh, other places all over the world since then. But um, uh, yeah, I, I was, I've had a sailboat here since the early 90s. Um, I actually spent 25 years as a ski patroller. Um, so I transitioned once, once um, uh, that piece of my life came to an end, I transitioned to the marina and, and then was... Uh, lucky enough to, to have my current position here as the director. Well, you definitely moved from the more frozen water into the liquid water. And of course, water is a very important part of this community with the lake. And then also with, with just our daily lives. And this year, uh, we, as the society, our theme is water, but with us being at such high altitude, are there challenges that come with operating a marina at such high altitude? That is a great question. And yes, there are. <laughs> um, as you can imagine, or if you didn't know, Dylan freezes solid in the wintertime, usually sometime around Christmas all the way through till um, May. Early May is when the ice comes off. So that obviously um, offer some pretty good challenges for us. So every spring, this whole party needs to go back on the water and every fall, this whole party needs to come off and we need to move docks and, and, uh, let mother nature come in and, and have her winter. Obviously winter is a huge piece of our summer because being at the, uh, the top of the water chain, we rely on that annual snowfall to, um, be able to fill the reservoir and, and, uh, um, you know, so we can enjoy the summertime. So it's, it's short and sweet. It's absolutely beautiful up here in the summertime. Uh, we, we definitely soak up every minute of it because it doesn't last long. No, it does not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's about, it's about six months of fun and then, uh, you know, a whole bunch of work, but that's okay. It's worth it. Oh, most definitely. And it's such a gorgeous place to visit and, and just and just see or even partake in some of the activities that go on. But the lake mm -hmm. itself is owned by the Denver Water Board and is used as a reservoir for them and for their water supply. Um, how does the marina work with the Dillon Water Board? So the, the Denver Water Board, obviously, you know, their, their top priority is the water. Um, this reservoir represents two thirds of Denver's drinking water. So that's, it's a, it's a pretty important game that they're playing. Um, and uh, in addition to that, they're also very, very vested 
in our success. They recognize um, what a huge piece of our community this is and a huge piece of our economy this is. So um, yeah, the Denver Water Board actually, we, we work quite closely together um, with things with, like regard to, you know, the, the grounds, the, the lake, the property, um, also aquatic nuisance species inspection. So we, we spend a lot of time um, protecting these waters from anything that would be invasive or, or come in that's not supposed to be here. So um, we meet with those guys all the time. And then Denver Water uh, is uh, part of the DREC um, committee. So that's going to be a committee that is comprised of the town of Dillon, the town of Frisco, the Forest Service, Denver Water, um, the Sheriff's Department, and the Summit County. So we get together once a month and uh, really make sure that we're, you know, fostering this beautiful lake and this, this beautiful experience up here in a way that, that uh, is going to be good for the community and the environment and everything else. And that's great to really protect the water source that that is there, especially for it being used for drinking and then also for recreation, too. You know, it's such a beautiful it's such a beautiful spot that we want to protect it, too. So what are some of the activities that are happening this summer at the Dillon Marina and on the lake? Boy, this place is it kind of never stops. Um, so behind me, if you can see it, we have a. Uh, significant rental fleet of pontoon boats so folks can come up and rent a boat from us for, um, for a period of time and go out and enjoy the water. Um, this is a big, big sailing destination. Um, so there's regattas just about every weekend. There's a big Thursday night um, kind of fun, no protest series that we use to just go out and have a good time and, and kind of as a, as a teaching tool in a way for, um, you know, some of, some of those that are a little bit less competitive, but still want to get out and have some fun to be able to, to participate. Um, I'm sitting at our uh, Lakeside Tiki Bar this morning. It's not quite open yet, but they'll be here soon. Um, so that's available, you know, weather, weather depending every single day. They have live music on the weekends. Right up the road, there's our uh, beautiful Dylan Amphitheater, um, which will have concerts uh, pretty much every Friday, Saturday, uh, every weekend. That place is busy and yay, it's open again. So I think we're all looking forward to uh, getting up there and being able to hear some live music. And uh, there's a farmer's market every Friday, um, just above our marina that overlooks the lake. It's just absolutely a beautiful setting. It's a very cool farmer's market, great place to get lunch or uh, you know the other things that come with the farmer's market. Um, we have our Dillon Yacht Club down here. So that's very, very active. Um, we have our retail shop. Uh, it's a, it's a great place to come. So pretty much any time, any day, come on down. And of course you have tours that go on. <laughs> we do. <laughs> we do. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, we have our historical tour. Um, thank you to, to, uh, the Summit Historical Society. So thank you. Um, and that's an opportunity to go out on a captain to pontoon boat with a subject expert like yourself or someone from the historical society to learn about the origins of uh, the Dillon Reservoir and, and uh, the town of Dillon itself, which is, I've taken the tour. So I now know that it's moved three times uh, throughout history for various reasons. Um, get to view some wildlife. We have eagles and osprey and all kinds of cool stuff happening around the lake. So uh, that's fun. We have um, sunset sailing tours. We do, um, we have a sailing school. Um, where you can learn how to sail. Uh, we have women and wine on the water every Wednesday night, uh, or I'm sorry, two Wednesdays out of the month, each month. Um, so yeah, there's plenty to do. I know last year that I really enjoyed watching the regattas. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really fun. And, you know, that Thursday night series, we very purposely uh, have the start and finish right behind me over here um, to kind of try to turn it into a spectator sport. So if you, if you're not doing anything and you want to come down to the Tiki bar on a Thursday and cheer on your favorite boat, um, which of I'm assuming would be me that's uh, sail number three, two, two, one, zero. So let me hear you. Now, when we've met before, you talked about a map that you have in your office. Would you like to talk a little bit more about this map? Yeah. Uh, so this was a this is a historical map that was found in the Dillon Town Hall. 
Um, I'm someone who really enjoys those kinds of things. So I snagged it, uh, made sure that it was um, safe and secure. So this is a plan and profile of Robert's Tunnel. So it shows um, not only the, uh, the vertical, but the horizontal orientation of the tunnel and where the bore, um, where, where they bored in and the different directions they went to um, uh, meet up in the middle as they built it. Um, it's, it's really cool. It shows the elevations of the continental divide and exactly where the tunnel sits in relation to it. Um, yeah, if you, if you are down here and like things like that, just ask me about it. I'm happy to show it off. And the Roberts Tunnel is definitely an engineering feat that happened um, in its it started its construction in the 1940s and continued on. Um, and that helps Denver actually get its water. Um, so it's quite interesting. <laughs> it, it, it really is. It's impressive. Um, you know, it really it really shows uh, the technology of the time and the forethought that uh, um, Denver and Denver Water had in uh, acquiring the property to do it and install the tunnel to be able to deliver water to the uh, South Platte. Uh, it, it's really impressive. It, um, yeah, quite the feat. Now, since you've been working at the marina, what is your favorite uh, part about the Dillon Marina? Boy, I, I, that's a good question. There's so much of it that I enjoy. Um, you know, more than anything, I, I think it's just kind of the vibe. Um, we work really hard down here to, to create an experience where, where people can come and just enjoy themselves, spend time with their families or, or, you know, just come to the Tiki bar. If you want to go out on a boat, if you'd like to take a tour, if you'd like to, but our, our hope here is that when you, you enjoy your time here and then when you leave, you, you think of this as a place that you'd like to come back in a place where you've uh, been able to just kind of relax a little bit. World's a, world's a bit of a tricky place these days so we're I, I say we're always we're trying to make a clean spot down here where you can come and just enjoy yourself and that that to me is um um very compelling I really enjoy customer service I really enjoy the people I love uh talking to everybody I love helping people out um there's also uh for me personally um the sailing here is quite challenging and uh I enjoy that so it's a it's definitely kind of a dance with Mother Nature up here in the mountains. The mountains themselves uh, create a lot of dynamics that that mean that you have to pay pretty close attention. Um, but it's a it's a lot of fun. It's a it's a great challenge. I know when we were talking last time, you were talking about the dangers of hyperthermia. Do you kind of want to elaborate a little bit on that? Yeah, well, you know, with with cold water submersion. So the water here. Um, you know, in, at the very height of the summer, the top six inches will maybe get into the low 60s, but everything below that is very cold. <laughs> um, so it's not a place that you really want to spend a lot of time as a human in there. Um, we were talking about what we call the 110 one rule. Uh, so if you, if you find yourself in cold water like Dillon Reservoir, you know, we say you have one minute to uh, kind of get yourself together. You have about 10 minutes before you start losing the ability to, to, you know, use your, your faculties and you have about one hour, um, that hopefully, uh, you'll receive help. Um, people, you know, it does happen. People do occasionally fall in and, um, you know, fortunately Dylan is located in a place where it has very good visibility all the way around. So, um, for the most part, and in, in my experience, pretty much every time we're very quick to, uh, to go and help folks when they need it. Um, we mutually, rescue on the lake with the summit county sheriff's office so there's a lot of resources here to be able to help folks um but yeah it's a <laughs> if you go in this water you know it really quick um and for me personally <laughs> the, the few times that, that it has happened to me i've i've uh, found my way out very quickly <laughs> yes the water is very cold and thank you i yeah. i've I found that very interesting and also helpful to understand um, how to protect yourself and, and make sure that you're ready for that. And if you were to go out on the water and happen to fall in, that is. Yeah. Now. Mm -hmm. Oh, I so, was just going to, I'm just going to throw in there about life jackets. They're, they're mm -hmm. so critical. You know, it's such a great tool to have um, 
with you or on you out there and, and could really make the difference. Oh, most definitely. Mm-hmm. And thank you. And so our last question for you is what would you like people to take from the marina and leave, leave knowing about the marina? Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, as I, as I mentioned earlier, really uh, my, our, our biggest hope down here is that, is that people just come and just enjoy themselves. You know, we have, um, we have roughly 300 customer slips in addition to our rental fleet that's out there. Um, so this is a, a, a community for all of those folks that have a boat here. Um, you know, and, and whether you be a, a, you know, a slip holder or even a day visitor or whatever you'd like to do, we just want you to come down here and, and like I keep saying, just enjoy yourself. Um, we're here for you. That's exactly why we're here. And, uh, uh, we're lucky to, to be in such an incredible, you know, just beautiful place and uh, foster it. And, and, you know, like I said, the world's tricky right now. So come on down and just forget about it for a little bit. Thank you, Craig. And the marina is such a wonderful resource that we have. And here at the Society, we're so happy to have partnered with you, with the Dillon Marina, to be able to have those historical boat tours to offer um, just a little excursion for an hour and a half learning about history on the water. So who, who would yeah. want to not have that? <laughs> well, and we're, Quinn, we're, we're lucky to have you guys, too. You guys are such a... Um, such a cool local resource and, and uh, I I honestly enjoy um, occasionally going to the historical society up the street and learning more and more about the area that that I live in and uh, yeah it's cool it's a, it's a great partnership and thank you Craig and thank you for having this interview with us we're this was wonderful thank you you're welcome Quinn you're welcome <laughs> I hope you uh, hope everybody has a wonderful day come see us we are here <laughs> and hopefully we can get some people to cheer for you on the regatta. <laughs> yeah. Remember three two two one zero. That's really- <laughs>